Each week, we get the chance to explore the most incredible art form with an amazing history. Author Dennis Lahani said, There are threads in our lives. You pull one and everything else gets affected. Remember that. Welcome to this week's vlog. Right, what you're about to see is real magic. Check this out. 10p coin can be borrowed, of course, but it is regular. Jamie, check it out. Make sure you're happy. Queen's face on one side, lion on the other. Good? Uh, yep. Pass me the coin. Right, watch this. Watch the coin. One. Two. <laughs> Welcome ladies, gentlemen and everyone else who is watching this. We are here outside the best magic shop in the world. Check this out. This is Alakazam Magic, okay? Now, we have been at this unit, if you wanted to know, for around about 16 years. Oh my God, there's the owner. That's actually my dad. Hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> Not even planned. Look, he's actually filming next door right now. He's taking dad. Quickly lift that up, what you got there? That is a TCC suede leather bat. Now it does say medium size, it's actually the small one listed on our website. It comes in all different colours, blue, well not all different colours, it comes in four colours. Black, blue, green and red. It's our preferred close-up mat of choice. Beautiful hard underneath and a lovely top, which is perfect for cards, coins and anything else. Superb, right, enjoy the rest of your day. It's absolutely beautiful. What a close-up mat. Yesterday was an exciting day for us because we launched a little kind of, well, a few uh, of Extractor, which is insane. Now, if you haven't seen Extractor before, first of all, where have you been? Second of all, you need one. Third of all, I don't know if you can get one because I think we probably sold out. Um, but it is insane. Um, let me know in the comment section if you've got one. I want to know. But yeah it was one of them ones where obviously we've got so many products that we need to kind of release and stuff and we need to spread them out over the years we can't just obviously bombard you all with with loads but that was one was going to hold off but i tell you now the amount of phone calls emails messages can i have extractor have you got extractor have you got extractor and we was like do you know what let's just give the people what they want that's what we're about alakazam right you want something we'll give it you all right uh so yeah we thought we'd release some a few copies and uh, they've absolutely flown out in america here um, the other thing I will say is uh, we've planned our releases for this month or actually this year sort of thing. Um, we've got an awesome packet effect coming out which is really, really good and a vanishing deck. All right, now those of you who know, know because you know. If you don't know, you need to get to know because it is so good. It is by the amazing Henry Ferris. It is the best vanishing deck I've ever seen. Jamie? A hundred percent. It was one of the talks of Blackpool, I would have said. hundred percent. And not just on our stand, obviously, on uh, around the whole Blackpool. Even non-magicians. We was in Prezzo, and literally, as we was leaving, we got called over to a table, and they was like, guys, is insane. Bleep out the trick name, what I just said, <laughs> because uh, you do not need to know what that is, so bleep that out, right? Uh, but yeah, definitely check out that effect because it's so good. Honestly, we got dragged left, right, center for people just to tell us how much they loved it. And the fact the creator is 14 years of age, I am honored. I am honored, all right, that he chose to release it with Alakazam Magic. So Henry, if you're watching this, you legend. And also your mum is a legend. Right, this has been my favorite dem in the shop, Leviosa. Favorite dem in the shop, I tell you. That is real magic. Honestly, everyone that comes in, the light, right. People are afraid of performing it because of certain lighting. Don't worry about it, right? We perform it in here. These are probably the worst lights for this method in the world, aren't they? They literally shine everything. They're horrible. Um, it's so bright in here. I have magicians stand from me to Jamie away, even closer. Someone was literally like that watching me perform it, did not see a thing. It is insane. Um, it's so easy to do, you can have a lot of fun with it, it's so versatile, and that is a reputation maker right there, Leviosa. So yeah, it gets my highest recommendations, honestly. For an effect like this, I was a bit nervous when I saw the trailer, I was thinking it is gonna be that good, but trust me, it's killer. Absolutely love it. Um, we got full day packs of filming today, of course, we're gonna do the act, we're gonna do the unlimited top 10. Um, a we've got a new thing for the app this week. Have we? 
Oh, yes, we have. We've got a new... Should we tell them? Should I run in there and grab Ooh. it? Right, let's have a look. Right, wow, look at that desk. I literally... I hate tidy enough, but I managed to do all that this morning, so... Jamie's laughing because he done everything. But yeah, look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? It's very nice. It's my desk. This is for a trick that's coming out soon, okay? I'm obviously not a smoker, but that is for a trick that's coming out soon, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, then what else? We've got a few other tricks that are coming out at some point, but I don't really want to show you them yet. Um, this, here we go, check this out. This is for the act. This is now a restriction dice. So check this out. We roll the dice, we have to meet the requirements. We've got no cards, no Alakazam products. So that basically means no 100% commercial workable must-have items in there. <laughs> uh, no sleight of hand, no mentalism, no talking no cards, and there's one other, isn't there? No coins, there you go. All right? So we'll roll the dice if it lands on that one. Obviously, we cannot have cards in the act, um, which is really, really fun. We're also going to get another dice, which is higher budget, because a lot of you are wanting to see higher budget acts. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get one of those done for you guys. Oh, just super exciting news about Unlimited as well. We'll tell you about that later on. But we are making massive strides, all right, to get it to be just even better than what it already is. Tell them what's happening at the end of the month in case they're not a member. If you are not a member of Alex Summer Limited, let me just tell you, right? £4.99 a month. Obviously, it's just rolling, rolling. Don't worry about it, right? But £4.99 a month, you get access to. At the end of this month, we have got a live lecture with Simon Lipkin. Now, trust me when I say this, the material is insane. Jamie? Seriously, it was amazing. when he came and he showed us what he's lecturing. Oh my gosh! We couldn't believe that no. it was going to be in a lecture. Honestly, this stuff is so good, and you get access to that for four pound ninety nine. All right, so it's not anything extra. If you're subscribed to Unlimited, you get all the videos and everything like that. Plus, we've got something else coming out of him soon. Um, but you also get to watch this live lecture, which will be recorded and left on the platform as well. Um, honestly, it is a lecture you do not want to miss. He's got like, I don't really want to give it away, but like this billet routine. And I'm telling you now, that is that is probably the best billet routine I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Seriously. 100%. I'm going to do that without a shadow of a doubt. That is just, for free... Free billets, free playing cards. You got free business cards. That's do you know it. what was really clever about that as well, though? And he's going to teach us how to do it. Is the beginning the of first it on the phone? Bit. Yeah, I didn't so even. So yeah. clever. That is just the most organic thing I've ever seen, isn't it? Just that on its own yeah. is so smart. Because that is, you will use that. You will use that, and that's just part of the bigger routine. Yeah, honestly, it's so good. Is he doing the uh, destination one there as well? Yeah. No, I'm out. So, right, I'm not going to drop the mic because it's got a fresh new muff on it, but if I could, I would. All right. <laughs> so he's given us, he showed us three tricks that yep. he's going to do, but he said he's going to do a little bit more and elaborate on yep. them. But all three of the things that he showed us were all killer. They're all like good enough to be like a finale. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's no filler in there. It's just banger after banger after banger. Um, so yeah, make sure you join us for that. Obviously, that is exclusively on the Alakazam Unlimited platform, so make sure you are a member. Access it through your accounts or on the website, uh, however you like. But yeah, we've just got some awesome plans for it. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. And again, I mean, if you've got Unlimited and you haven't left a review on the website, please leave a review because it lets us know that you're enjoying it. Um, and it also lets other people know that that £4.99 is better off spent learning over 150 tricks plus new ones every week rather than a cost of a cup of coffee. All right. I think we're nearly up to 170 now. Nearly 170 videos. That's the thing, guys. There's Alakazam Unlimited Originals, which are only on the platform, and there's new ones added every week. I don't think you realise that. It's not just access to them. There's new videos being put in every single week on the platform. Performances. Yesterday, I spent my entire day trying to get through the backlog of originals that we have because mm. we've got so many originals in, yeah. in our folders now. It's ridiculous how many things we've got coming out. It's insane. Should I film that one I've done? Do you reckon for it or not? I reckon. You yeah, reckon? Yeah. Maybe we can film that today and upload yeah. it. Why not? Put it in my little section. You think? Yeah. Come on! Right, maybe we'll do that. And I get a cool, can, I, can we get a cool bit of artwork for that? Yeah. Guys, we'll leave you be because we have got to get crack a uh, on with some other bits and bobs. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. And we'll see you soon. Enjoy the vlog. You smell nice. You think? Mmm. Right, look. How cute is this? Right, this is educating Emma, this part. 
very exciting because I love seeing how excited you get doing tricks. And I tell you what, the one last week you done actually really good, honestly. You done well, both of you done well. Grandma's Miracle and Weapons in Vegas. Well, you know, pick a nice one for me, though. Yeah, I will. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Oh. And I'm going to do one that I already know which one I'm going to choose already. But this is one that I love doing anyway. Um, and it's an easy one, but a lot of magic happens. And I think you'll nail it. All right, okay. over it. Amazing magic range. These bad boys. Now, you probably sent out enough of these to know exactly what it is. But oh, this one right here. Victorian. Oh. Right, okay. That is empty. So we put that into one on a shelf. All right, get rid of that one for now. So how do you feel about learning a coin trick? Nervous. Nervous. Very nervous. I think you got it in the bag. Because you're under the impression that coin magic is the most difficult type of magic. Yes. Interesting. Well, you will nail this down. So we've booked out the local theatre. Um, Emma's going to be doing it up there with a close-up <laughs> shot on her. Uh, no, I'm joking. Emma is going to learn it uh, and then come and show us. And obviously you guys will see as well. I'm really excited to see this, see what you come up with. And your little store, like your patter. See what mm. you come up with that. You got any idea what you're going to go for, story-wise? No, not yet. Not yet. See, see where the wind takes you. Mm. Interesting. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what you do. I'm excited. Okay, Harry. Yep. Hopefully you've taught me well. I hope so, uh, yes. Right. So we are going to you. Do you like chocolate? I, you know I love chocolate. White or brown? Uh, milk. So, right, do you know what chocolate coins, uh, what colours the chocolate coins come in? Yeah, normally. So if I showed you that, would that milk. be milk chocolate? Yeah. And that would be... Not my favourite, but white chocolate, Yeah, I'm not a lover of white no, either. So sweet. let's see if I can win all of the gold coins and you are left with all the white. All right. Okay, so got gold and a silver. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gold. Yep. Put it in my pocket. What am I left with? Uh, it should just be silver. Nope, wrong. How the hell? You lose. That's one white milk <laughs> chocolate one for you. So this time, what we're going to do is... Let's go for the white. All right. Okay? Yep. So we're going to remove the silver coin. Yep. Put that in my pocket. Show me your hand that time. Right then. Yeah. What me. have I got left? Should just be the gold one. Wrong again. Starting to wind me up now, Emma. Can't lie. Okay, so look, I'll show you here. We have got brown chocolate, which is gold, white chocolate, which is silver. Yes. We will take away the gold, mm -hmm. which leaves us yeah. with what? Should be silver. Harry. How the heck? One of each. You're, You're joking me. You're not playing along, are you? No. Right. One last chance Go now. Let's see. Let's remove the silver coin. Yep. Which is left with the gold one, surely. No, that's that out That means of order. you have all the white chocolate and I have the brown. And I don't even like the white chocolate. Tough. Lunchtime. Let's go. Now, of course, it is my favourite time of the day. Uh, apart from seeing everyone in here, my second favourite part of the day is lunch then, all right? Because I've got to be nice to everyone, apparently. So, let's have a look-see. Out back. To the kitchen. Or la cucina, if we're speaking Italian. But we're not. We're talking English. So it's the kitchen, all right? Uh, let's have a look in here. Now, um, I've really been, like I said, trying to eat whole foods and things like that. Uh, and to be honest with you, I have noticed a difference. So I'm just trying to eat stuff in its natural form. Not that you probably care about that, but I'm just letting you know. Um, and also, I will just say, my abdominals, right? I'm telling you now, right? I've lost, I've actually lost some fat, right? Honestly. And now, if I do this, it makes like, you know them wooden frogs? Do it. You know them wooden frogs where you do it across the bag and it goes, rip, rip. that's what it's like with this. Like that. Okay, let's not... Right, but honestly, right, we're getting there. Maybe one day I'll have a six pack, you never know. Um, but anywho, so this is what I'm going to have on the way to it. Let's see here. Lovely. Here we are. So, uh, new Tupperware pot. Let's have a look, see here. Oh, coming close. Look at that. Um, now we've got chicken here, chicken thighs, uh, which is delicious with nice herbs on them and just some plain rice. Uh, so I'm going to whack that in the microwave uh, for a few minutes. Jesus Christ. Uh, and then we will see what your comments were on the last vlog. Hold up. 
Let's do three and a half minutes, that'll do. Now, let's see your comments, please. Here we go again. Right. So, Alexander Weekly Vlog. Well, we've already done six. How quick is... How the hell are we in April already? This year is flying by. Do you think your days have been going quicker since you've been with Alakazam? Or really not? Really quick. You think? I can't believe it's been... So what, we're three and a half months that I've worked here now? No, four. Four and a half. It's April. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, cool. here we are. Right, let's have a look. See here. The goat when it comes to magic shops. Do you know what? Ali Hussein Magic. You, my friend, are the goat. Thank you so much for commenting that, my friend. And you know what, guys? I love the feedback and response we've had. I really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you so much. Next one, Mick Wilson. Are you legend? He's got a uh, academy coming up soon. Another fun informs at entertaining blog. Jenny revealed some of her true competitive colours there. Yeah, you know it. Um, best in the business. Do you know what? Mike Hernandez Peterson, 7438. You, my friend, are a legend, all right? And I still have another pleasure of meeting you in real life. Uh, I've spoke to you many a time, but I've never met you in real life. So maybe at a convention soon, we will cross paths, hopefully. Same with everyone on here. Uh, Rob Scott, uh, in its win it, great content both on, on here and Unlimited. Uh, Rob, you legend. I hope you are enjoying. What did you pick up the other day? Screen bullet reveal. Hope you're enjoying that. I get a lot of laughs with that one. Um, you can you can come here. Vlog's in form, Andy. Don't worry about it. But you just do whatever you've got to do. It doesn't matter. Apart from that. What the hell, man? I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, so, um, Doug, excellent vlog again. Nice to see everyone involved. I'm sure Harry will be one of the challenges before the end of the year. Well, Doug, you've just counted yourself out of in it to win it in you this week. Right? Only joking. They selected at random. Um, and that obviously was a joke. Lisa's in it to win it. Uh, very funny vlog. Congratulations to the whole family for the spicy competition. Uh, Harry, the reverse matrix is beautiful. Do you know what? Super easy to do. It's Mirage. That was Mirage half dollar. Obviously, it's available in dollar. But I will just say, doing that in dollar size will be a bit more tricky, obviously, than half dollar size. So if you want to do that performance, uh, which I think is worth the price of the set anyway, um, then do that. Everyone's just saying in it to win it. Um... Tyrone, the Nardi family is a blessing to the magic world. Hey, it's the Alakazam family, but also the Nardi family, right? But yeah, the, I would say the Nardi family technically just is all of you's as well, isn't it, really? You, Jimmy, unfortunately, great, my little broski. Emma in there, Andy in there, Chris now in USA. 100%, one big familia. Uh, and yeah, that's it for questions, really. Just Will says another great vlog. Well done. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Um, we have had, as well, just quickly, packaging delivered of such a cool trick from... This is going to give it a little tip away. <laughs> All right. That, will that give something away? If people know, they know. If not, I've yeah. just done a pig noise. I was going to say, isn't there a famous supermarket that has a certain dessert that's in that shape? What, Percy? Yeah. But I think there's a cake version, isn't there? Is it? I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know. Um, yeah, nice. Okay. Beep's gone off, so let's go over there now. But yeah, so we've just had... We need to upgrade to smell vision If you could smell these fives, not my ones, the ones in the microwave, your mouth would be drooling. Okay, let's have a look. See, right here. Looks to me that it's going to be hot to the touch. Okay, so I don't want to go with that with bare hands because last time I burnt myself. Let's have a look here. Oh my god, the smell. Oh, what's that? Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Mate, that's literally a magic trick. That's a magic trick. Where the hell has that little pot just come from? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> that weren't in there when I put it in there, was it? Did you put that in there? How the hell is that in there? <laughs> that, there's no, not even a room for it in there. <laughs> No, that's actually insane. That is literally a magic trick. <laughs> Rewatch that bit on that vlog because I swear that was not in there to start with. Am I just having a brain fart? Did you see that in there or not? Oh my god. What the hell? Turn that over and you've got a plastic knife and fork. Put the link to that in the comments below. Now, Jamie, put the link to that in the description below. Right, I'll take this back. Whoa, box there. Let's get... The smell going around the gaff. Emma, Emma, we're gonna do a quick ASMR. So, 
that smell nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Can you do a quick M&S? It's chicken fries with herbs and rice. This is not just any lunch. This is Alakazam lunch. That was so good. Are you sure you ain't the, the bloody one on M&S? Andy, do you want to do a quick M&S one? Oh, that looks nice. Okay, yeah, that's probably that's Marky and Sparky that one, isn't it? That's not Mar that's not Marks and Spencer's. That's Mark and Sparky. All right, boy, that's nice. That ain't it. But yeah, here we go. That is nice though. So yeah, I'll tuck in there. Uh, I'm currently let me get rid of that. But I'm currently uh, doing that necklace. This is. I've only seen the trailer. I don't know the method yet. Um, but I'm looking at maybe doing that on a social video. I'm so excited. But yeah, let me tuck straight into this. My mouth's drooling, and uh, yeah, I'm starving, so let's go. Cheers, guys. It's time for Dad versus Lad. Welcome to this week's Dad versus Lad. So this week's is a card castle challenge. So you've got one minute to make the tallest card castle. How do you feel about that? Because I'm actually a little bit nervous. You've got a better mm. map than me. And I've I got am... the worst card, so these are really slippy. Look at that. I did actually just do a colour change, but it was three of diamonds to three of hearts. How unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, they are very slippy, them cards, so not good for you. Yeah. Right. So you've got one minute yeah. to build your card castle. No cheating. Don't knock mine over. I know no. you like. Starts in three, two, one, go! Bit of friction. That's going to give me ultimate. Ultimate. Oh, look at the concentration. Hey! Beat space. Yeah. How have you done it that fast? Right, I can't get any higher. I can't get any higher than mine. That is hey. just about. <laughs> That's all right. I'll leave it at that. How long have we got left on timer? How long have we got there? I think Harry wins. And I even put a little bit of thread at the top there as well, just for fun. <laughs> I, I had a bit of time left over, just put a nice little ribbon in there too. So yeah, nice. How Hang on. No, in all seriousness, that is obviously a joke, guys. I will not cheat you like that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Rising Car Castle, available at alexander.co.uk. So, why don't we take a look at the real dad versus lad? Oh, why don't we take a look at it, see you one. Welcome to this week's Dad versus Lad. Love it. How are you? Is your mouth? Look at that. What's hey, that? Look. What is it? That. I need a little squeaker. That is. Do you know what? That is impressive. Actually, I can't lie to you. Yeah. Considering you don't do weights, that is actually decent. You've done yeah. well there. Nice one. Um, is your mouth cooled down from last week? Yeah. It was. Yeah. Do you know? I actually had that some of that sauce on my on the pool pot that you made the other day. It was very nice. It was a good sauce. Yeah, really. So good sauce. highly recommend. Crazy. And Jamie and sauce. Emma didn't enjoy it as much as we did. No, you didn't have any, did you, Andy? We'll it have to get you a little drop. A little drop, we'll get you. A little droplet. But yeah, it was a good one last week, I must say. Yeah. Despite a little bit of uh, jiggery pokery going on, it was all good. Right. What's this week? We're we going to store. So this week's challenge is. <clears throat> A card castle challenge. Oh, oh no, man. we're gonna be Come here forever. On. So you have got one minute to build the tallest card castle. If you build it before the end of the minute, it has to stand for at least five seconds without falling over. Alright? We are gonna be here forever. Um I will need someone to have a timer though. Emma's got a How long ready. we got to build it? You've got one minute, so whoever makes the biggest card castle, bearing in mind, technically, it could just be you one could just together. do two cards together. Yeah. If the other person's cards aren't there, yeah. that could make you win. Yeah, so you and no cheating. Strategic. No, you don't no knock cheating. it over. You cannot not. blow, yeah. you cannot knock. I've what? given you both a mat each as well. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you've got one minute. I will say more friction card. on that pad straight away. Yeah, but yeah, and there's less friction on these cards. Well, then cards, it's even. Right? There, it's even. Let, let's let's. Swap mats said. We want Harry to be happy. No, I don't mind right. that. No, but I'm just so, no because it levels it out because they are more slippy. To be fair, them cards they are actually more slippy. Are you I'm, sure? Yeah. We want Harry to be happy. No, I'm happy. No, I, they are. If honestly, if you beat me, that is fair enough because they are actually worse cards for this. They I would are say. Okay, worse cool. cards. Right. So cards on the mat. Yep. Ready? In three, two, one, go. Harry 
he's in the lead. Although it's not higher, there are more here, so I think that is a win this week at long last for Harry. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Harry. Thank you. Harry. Thank you. Harry. That was very good. I will just say, them cards are. They you are. As, you as, I would be not happy if I was you, but that's it. I left that one there. My strategy was I'd done that one, got it up, because if all these fell, I still had the little one, little tower there. That was my aim. That was my strategy right there. And that one, that wouldn't even stay up. Well, I just quickly shoved that actually, on top of it. That's a really good idea. I wonder if that would have worked. What, a little bend? Mm. Yeah, I think the bend of the cards is... No. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. And uh, were you right? Did you vote for little old me or muscle, muscle man over there with the guns? Look at that. that. That ain't bad. Yeah, that's really good. You've actually been doing really well. Yeah. Eating wise, mm. things like that. Doing really well. Look at him. It's like a little spring chicken. Yeah. Right, anyway, guys, thank you so much. You just, why are you not saying anything? Because you've lost, isn't it? You've just gone all silent. I, I'm letting you have your moment. So it won't happen very often. He's, uh, I knew that was going to, he's always going to come up with something, wasn't he? I thought, let me get him involved. Now I wish I never asked. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Uh, play this on We Are the Champions for me, now, please. Actually, put a little crown on my head. Put one of that. Emma, uh, help me out with something, all right? Help okay. me out with this trick, all right? We have here uh, the four queens. I want you to just na name one of them. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts, you mm. sure? Yeah. Okay, very strange thing about this packet of cards. Uh, they contain uh, blue back cards apart from one red back card. No. Uh, which happens to be the Queen of Hearts. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, what would happen if you'd said the uh, the Queen of Diamonds? Well, that's fine. Uh, these are uh, blue back cards apart from one card, which was the Queen of Queen of Diamonds. But, of course, you may have chosen like maybe the black cards, maybe the Queen of Spades, but that's fine because the cards change colour, in which case we end up with uh, one blue back card, uh, in this oh, case the, uh, stop. the no, Queen of Spades. No. But what if you'd said the uh, Queen of Clubs? Well, that's fine because, remember, Remember, we had one blue back card in here, and that happens to be, in this instance, the uh, <gasps> Queen of Clubs. Do you know, when I first started doing this trick, people said to me, oh yeah, but you know, you must be all using the same cards. And it's true. What really confused me is the fact that um, the Queen of Clubs has a red back, uh, the Queen of uh, Spades has a red back, um, the uh, Queen of Diamonds has a red back, and so does the uh, Queen of Hearts. What? Did I say red backs? I meant that the Queen of Hearts had a blue back. <gasps> Right, the Queen of Hearts had a blue back, uh, the Queen of Diamonds had a blue back, um, also the uh, Queen of Spades and also the uh, Queen of Clubs. So to be honest with you, I'm not sure exactly how the, how the trick works. So wow. I'll tell you what, we'll do another card trick, all right? We'll do another card yeah. trick, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, and this uses a little bit, uh, a few more cards, all right? Um, and I, I say a few more cards. In fact, um, let's see, uh, I'm gonna have you select a card in fact, you're going to select two cards. Is that all right? Yep. Okay. Um, now I want you to see that these are these are all different. Yep. They're all mixed up. All right. Uh, and you are going to select the cards in a very very fair manner. In fact, I will give these a shuffle, and uh, we will place. Oh, in fact, two packs of cards here like this. Now I said it's going to be a fair way of selecting the cards. So, uh, what packet do you want to start with? That one. Okay, so just cut off a packet of cards and place them there. Enough that we've still got, uh, you know, a fair amount of cards on the table. Perfect. Okay, and uh, cut off half, half of this packet. Yeah. And just have a look at the card that you cut to. Yeah. Yep. And then place that down on there. On where, sorry? On there. Perfect. Uh, and then cut off half of that packet. Have a look at the card that you cut to. And place that down on there. Yeah? 
and then pick up that packet or either packet it doesn't matter yeah and drop them on top and drop them on top perfect so you've selected two two cards yeah i'm trying there. to remember them yeah the camera saw them so i'm hoping that jamie remembered as well <laughs> uh now rather than me go through and have a look for your card what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out some cards that i think is your, uh, your card maybe uh, so this one uh this one and this one and also this one this one and this one right so I've got some cards here that I think may be one of your cards all right so I'm just gonna I don't want you to say anything obviously okay. but I just want you to remember if you if your cards there right um, so is your card one of the cards there yes perfect okay so uh, okay look at me so it could be the seven of clubs Sorry, you can look at the cards now uh, it could be the seven of, uh, Queen of Hearts. It could be the uh, the seven of, oh, seven of Diamonds. It could be the King of Diamonds, or it could be the Six of Clubs. Okay. Uh, you had another card as well, mm -hmm. right? Um, that wasn't it, was it? No. Nope. Okay. What about that one? No. Nope. Okay. We'll come back to that in just a second. Okay. Wasn't the Seven of Clubs, was it? No. Okay. Queen of Hearts? No. Nope. King of Diamonds? No. Nope. Six of Clubs? No. Nope. And not the King of Diamonds. It's a bit strange. Your card doesn't actually look like it's there any longer. Is that right? It's not there? No. Okay. So uh, it wasn't the, uh, the Queen or any of these cards, no? No. Nope. You sure? Positive. So it wasn't the six, the, qu uh, the queen, the... S okay. Let's make your card come back. There we go. It's probably best if we make it come back. Uh, and your card was the... Um, was it a seven? Was it a seven? Okay. And your other card, was that a nine? Was it a nine? <laughs> Yeah, do you know the really weird thing is, is that I didn't actually see the seven in that in that packet. What I saw was the nine, right? And what? if that's the nine there, then over here in the middle would no be way! the seven. Just like that. Just like that. Wow. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. Thank you. So for this week's oldie but goodie, I'm going to be performing Symbol by the amazing Steve Cook. Now Symbol's available in both Pro and Poker size. I'm using the Pro size today, which is Alex Zam's Pro size stock. Uh, and I'll do this on you, Jamie, if you don't mind. So this is a psychological symbol test. You're aware of what these symbols are. Uh, they're usually used in ESP cards, the square, the circle, wavy lines, uh, triangle, star, and the cross. Now we actually have those symbols here. And inside this envelope, I will say there is a prediction which we'll look at in a moment. But we have the six symbols. Now, all I want you to do is imagine in your mind you have a die, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna roll that die as many times as you want and it's gonna land on a number. When you're happy with the number it lands on, let me know what it is. Four. Number four. Now, here's the thing, right? On the back of here, these symbols have been rated in popular choices. So popular choice number one would be the cross, number two would be the square, number three would be the circle, number four would be the star, five the wavy lines, six the triangle. You said number four, which is the star, right? Now remember, at the beginning, the envelope has been on the table the whole time. You could open this. I'm gonna tip out one card and that happens to be the star. And there really is genuinely nothing else in that envelope. And that is the genius of Steve Cook. And that is called Symbol and it's available in both poker size and pro size. 
Hello, this is, welcome to the social section. That's a cool name, isn't it? Just made that up. Um, this is literally how it feels doing social videos every single day. Now, um, obviously we try and upload a video every single day, like a performance video, and that does involve learning the trick, making it up if it needs any DIY, uh, and obviously filming it and then uploading it and things like that. Um, that is all whilst doing actual shop stuff so the phone might ring or this might happen or that might happen so it's quite it's actually quite difficult despite the video has only been like a minute long or two minutes long it actually takes quite a lot of prep uh, to do it um it's also hard knowing what tricks to do on video because some tricks you can't do on video some tricks you want to do on video but just won't be as engaging enough for a video because they're good in real life when you've got people there but on uh camera obviously you need to grab their attention and make it interesting to start with. um but yeah so I've, i do enjoy doing the social videos but equally it is harder than it looks, I can't lie. It's not hard work, but it's more than just a minute, if you know what I mean. So like now, I've just looked at these instructions, set this trick up, about to film it now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is a really cool trick, actually. I'm excited for this one. But one of my favourite things to do is look online, see what tricks are called a video, get them in, learn them, get a video out. Because people, like, we never used to do, like, split die box, sell them, or the, or the uh, card duck, that one. We used to sell them ages ago, but then we didn't. But doing videos on them and doing videos on things that we probably wouldn't normally sell um, really, really are fun because it just opens up the market to more people. Maybe there's somebody who, wants a, who likes more colourful stuff and having a big magical prop is, might be something they're sort of looking for. Um, so our emails are mainly for hobbyists and professionals. Our social media videos are to get people into magic and that's why I do not put the link to the product on the video. The amount of times people say, where's the link, where's the link? If you comment that, I will comment the link underneath your comment. But I don't want to do it as a salesy thing. It's not just, it's not for salesy stuff. It's for entertainment value. Uh, and it's also just to get a video out there and hopefully get more people into magic. So I don't want to do a big salesy thing. Oh, you can get this here, blah, blah, blah. As soon as I click on that, or if I, if I saw that on my Facebook, I'd scroll past it. Whereas if I see something that's just a video, if I want to know what's in it, I'll comment, where's that from? And then they'll let me know in the comments. I don't want it to be a sales thing. So that is why we don't comment the name of the trick as the top bit. But if you do comment it underneath, we will reply to it with a name and link and things like that. But yeah, that's just a little insight as to why I don't do that. Um, Cause I feel like it would put some people off cause you don't want just sales shoved down your throat, do you? I don't want that on my feed. So you probably don't want it in yours. But yeah, all right. So let's get this filmed because uh, I'm really excited for this one. And Jamie doesn't even know what this trick is about. So I'm so excited to show him. Right, let's go for it. Here we go. Hello and welcome to In It To Win It, the bit where you've got to be in it if you want to win it. How about that? Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Right, get him off camera now. No energy in that. A bit of effort in there maybe for this because someone's going to win a tenner. In It To Win It. There you I'm go. On. Look at that. All right, all right. we've got fajitas tonight. Is that true? Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Right then, what, that's what that I thought. Chicken or? No, beef. Beef? Yeah. Nice. It's all beef. Nice. Lovely. Right, this is of course In It To Win It. We're going to ring one of you viewers who commented In It To Win It underneath our last vlog. If you answer the phone call and say, Hey Alaka fam, as the first thing you say, you will win a £10 gift card. How do you feel? Um, that will be amazing. I will say, this week, we haven't given them the little clue by doing the live. Yes. So That's not out of choice. That's out of necessity. Yeah. Because it has been a ramo in here. We are literally cramped. I'm not being funny, right? It's an hour overdue. That's how long this filming takes. We're, it's now 6 p.m. So we're about to bring you at 6. If you're eating your dinner with your family, then they're going to think, what's that like a fan? Yeah. And you have to say. Right. right. So do you think they're going to get it? Um, I would say, yeah. This uh, this is a legend who's, who we're bringing now. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't think they will, Jamie. <laughs> I don't because they've got no warning. No, they've got no warning at all. All right, here we go. I've been trying. What was that noise? Is <laughs> that look? <laughs> Someone do it too. <laughs> I will say that was my trainers. He's got one. So hey, Alec, fam. <laughs> phone's so loud. They're not going to answer. How long do we? Have? If it goes to our phone, it's not. Yep. Stop it. Welcome to the O2 messaging server. Put it down. No, wait. Calling is unable to take your I'm going to leave a voicemail for Please you. Please leave your message after the tone. To re-record your message, key hash at any time. Hello, it's Harry and... 
Peter. From Alakazam Magic. You was going to be in it to win it, but unfortunately you did not pick up the phone and say, hey, Alakazam. So unfortunately, you do not win this week. No. I hope you have a fantastic day, and please comment under this video, and in it to win it, to yeah, try next week. I was going to say, yeah, don't forget to enter again. Yeah, but anyway, enjoy whatever you're doing. Let us know in the comment section what you are doing. Maybe eating dinner with your family. Something more important than answering this call. Mm. See you later, mate. Bye. Bye. There we are. So, that was to, that's actually your who, mobile who phone. Will. It was Will. It Will, was. I do apologise. Uh, you unfortunately did not win. You didn't even pick up the phone. How rude. But he's still in with a chance if you uh, put in it to win it, in it, to win it underneath win it. this video. Yeah. You're in with a chance of getting picked next week. So I'll pick randomly. Yeah, just put your real name in there so we know who to get. Make sure your phone number is on your Alexam account. But anyway, guys, that is all for in it to, to win, win it. it. Guys, it is the end of the day and I want to get out of here, so let me ring Dad quick. Dad? Hello? Ring, ring. Hello? Ring, ring. Hello, you alright? Yeah, alright. Can, you you can you hear me on the banana phone? Certainly can. What do you want to? I'm waiting to get out of this shop because it's currently 6 o'clock and we finish at 5. It is 6 o'clock and there's no one else here to say goodbye. Yeah, I know. It's literally just us hanging about. Yeah. So we um, are going to go now. That was the end of this vlog. Are yeah. you alright if I sign off like this? Yeah, go on. I said, let's come a bit closer. Guys, we will see you next time on the Alakazam vlog. Yeah. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. Put the phone down, mate. Put the banana oh. down. There you go. Right. Guys, I don't need that anymore. I'm not phone to you. Guys, that is all from us this week. Have you had a good day today? I have had a busy day. You look a little bit cream crackered. I, I really am. My mind is frazzled. I've been in the studio filming for a corporate company for the last three days. Oh, yeah. Yes. And now it's over. Right. That's it. It's done. I Till can tell you're. Time. I can tell he's tired. He hasn't even got his mic on properly. It's uh, upside down. Uh, he's hanging down. Get it on there. I'm, Turn it. Oh, I'm going to hold and it. And it's caught on that. That bit is there. Look. There you go. Oh, I got it. <laughs> there you go. Right. All that for that. So, Worth it. No way. There you go. So this is how he treats his dad when his dad's tired. Well, we got fajitas tonight, haven't we? So nice. We beef. Are. They've seen that bit. It is beef. All right. He's got. You got short-term memory loss. I'm just Memory lost. I'm losing it. Right, guys, let's just get out of here too, because I'm stressing out. I'm tired as hell. So we'll see them next week on the Alakazam video blog. And so make... old way of saying it. It's oh. a vlog, Dad. Hey, not... we'll see you on the vlog. Honestly. Next week. Bye for now. Where's he gone? What are you doing?